after watching Mitchell's versus the machines, I have to say this. This movie makes me want to go on an adventure with them. Hey guys, my Plus Family back again, and today guys, I'm going to do a review on the Netflix 2021 movie, Mitchell's vs. the Machines. So anyway guys, let's get to the plot. So basically what the plot is, it's about um, these family named Katie Mitchell, the dad, the mom, and the son, and their dog, and they go, and uh, for some reason, um, today was um, Katie's last day. Um, at home before she went to um to college, and then for some reason um these robot pop girls at the telephone company named pa Pal, I believe what that company is called, and then basically uh for some reason we had this um cell phone this lady cell phone that tried to control the robots because because um when. When um the CEO of Powell announced that the phone was going to be discontinued, the lady was really upset, and then he tries to take over the world. So it's up to the Mitchell's family to take to team up together and take down the robot apocalypse, and that's basically what the plot is. Now, when this movie was first announced in back in 2020, this movie was originally supposed to be called Connected, but unfortunately, guys, this movie skipped theaters. Because of the pandemic, I think. I don't know. And I remember when I saw the trailer for Connected, I was like, um, it looks okay. But, eh. It doesn't look very, it doesn't look that very interesting to me. And then um, later, when um, Netflix bought the rights to this movie, they decided to change the title to Mitchell's vs. Machines. And I remember when I saw the Netflix trailer, I was like, Wow. This looks even better than the original trailer. I'll watch it. And believe it or not, guys, I actually watched this movie on my vacation. That's why right, I watched this movie on my vacation when I went to college bad, if you guys see my 2021 video. So after watching the Mitchell's Birds of Machines, I have to say this. This has to be by now one of the best Netflix movies I have ever seen. So let's get started with all um, the characters. We have Katie Mitchell who's addicted to filmmaking. And we have on um, this dog right there, which I forgot what the dog's name was. But other than that, the dog was actually really adorable. And we got um the dad. Which, um, the dad is actually not addicted to, um, computer products. And it was actually really a, a funny scene that he was, that he doesn't even know about, on um, the computer things. And then, for some reason, he was like, I just ordered, or 12 underwears off of Amazon. That was so funny. It was hilarious. And I really love that part, um, when that dad had a really sad backstory that um he wants to live um in a log cabin. But sadly guys, um when Katie Mitchell was still a baby, um their parents um sadly had to move away. And the dad actually kept a silver near was which is actually a wooden carved wooden moose. That was actually pretty kinda of cool. And also we have on the mom. The mom was actually really cool. And I really love the part when um when the kid uh when this kid right there got kidnapped by the by the robots, the mom said, You kidnapped my baby! And then he like and he goes like all rage and defeat all the robots. That was so awesome. And we have on um, this the kid right there who's a dead to the dinosaurs, which I would have to say this, you guys. This kid is actually George Pig done right. That's right, guys. This kid right there is way better than George Pig from Peppa Pig. And yes, guys, I know it's been a while since I made um, Peppa Pig on Rated videos. It's just I just want to focus on my reviews, but I will bring back the Peppa Pig on Rated series back because... Because I promised myself once I made around like um 230 episodes, something like that, I will officially end in the Peppa Pig on Rated series and I'll move on with and I will move on with Peppa Pig. And it's just been confirming guys, I'm not gonna do on the Peppa Pig um live show on Rated because I don't wanna make the because I think that's just out, outrageous for me to do that. So I'm just going to go to focus on the actual Peppa Pig on Rated Show itself. Not the show, just the show itself. So sorry guys for disappointing you guys. So yeah, and I also love on um, the other scene that um that um that um Katie Mitchell and 
and his and his dad had like a talk, and I really love how Kenny Mitchell um had like a camera with all the family all the family fun memories. That was actually really kind of cool. And I think the best movie that Kenny ever made has to be the Dog Cop. The Dog Cop was actually pretty kind of cool, and I really love the scene of how they take down on um, the the phone, and then um. And then the and then while the fellow was screaming, the Kamish said, "You know what this reminds me of? That screaming YouTube video monkey. That was so funny." So yeah, everything about this movie was so amazing. And believe it or not, guys, this movie became so so popular that this movie is actually um or an Oscar nomination. And yes, guys, I will watch the Oscars on Mar on March twenty seven because I want to find out what movie. It's going to win. And believe it or not, guys, what a big coincidence is that yesterday Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon um, Kiss Choice Awards um, announced the nominees. And guess what, guys? Paw Patrol the movie won, got a nominee for Best Anime Movie. And to be honest with you guys, tell him by Encanto become a nominee. Yeah, I think Paw Patrol the movie is not going to win the Kids' Choice Awards due to the fact that Encanto is actually the most popular movie of 2021 right next to Spider-Man No Way Home. But if Paw Patrol doesn't, doesn't win, my reaction, I will be very disappointed, but I would have to admit, even though Paw Patrol the movie is not going to win, it will always be... One of my favorite anime movies of 2021 because my movie, my favorite movie, anime movies of 2021 has been number one, Paw Patrol the movie, number two, Encanto, number three, this movie, and as for number four, I think number four has to be um, Luca and Ryan and the Last Dragon. Those are my top five best movies of of 2021 for animation movies. As for live action movies, I might make a top video. On my best live action movies. I don't know. We'll see. And then I also like on um, the other scene. Of how um, the Mitchells b battled that Furby thing. That was actually pretty kind of cool. That was actually pretty kind of cute. And another thing that I really. And another thing that I also really like about this movie. Is that on um, the final battle scene. Was actually pretty kind of cool. And the part when Katie went to college. That was really kind of cool. And I think the, and I think um the last minutes of the movie when um Kenny and Mitchell decide to go on a van vacation when they play that song on my way on my way to do that was actually pretty kind of cool, and yes guys I did manage to watch um the special um short film on my Blu-ray um called Dog Cop Seven the final chapter that was actually a really great short film. So, oh, guys, Mitchell's vs. Machines is a really fantastic movie, and I'm very surprised that this movie did got so many nominees. And I want to find out what's going to be going to win uh, for best anime movie at the Oscars. I think Encanto is going to win due to the fact that Encanto is actually becoming one of the most popular anime movies of this year. And I know for a fact that Paw Patrol the movie is not going to win the Kids' Choice Awards due to the fact that. Encanto is the most popular movie, but if Paw Patrol the movie does win the Kids' Choice Awards, I will be in shock. So, so yeah. But all of that, guys, I really love this movie, Missiles for the Machines. And but and not only that, guys, not only just that, this is actually the very first Netflix DVD that I ever got. That's right, this movie did got managed to get a DVD release, and I will manage to get on the other Netflix. DVDs like um, Stranger Things, I heard that's a really popular show, and BoJack Horseman. But the but I think the number one Netflix show that I really want that I really want to get a DVD release has to be on Big Mouth because I really love that show. So guys, Mitchell's vs. Machines is a really fantastic movie, and I have to get this movie a ten out of ten with the seal of approval. So anyway, guys, that's my review on Mitchell's vs. Machines. So anyways, guys, I'm going to end it right here. And my next review is going to, and it just has been confirmed, guys. My next review is going to be on um, Encanto. And um, it's going to be on um, Encanto. And then I'm going to review on Spider-Man No Way Home and Scene 2, you guys. 
And as for um no time um no time to die, sorry to disappoint you guys. I'm not gonna review on no time to die, but I but I think what I will do, you guys, I think I will is that I am gonna review on the James Bond movie coming later this year, and that's gonna be on my review on Skyfall, aka my favorite David Craig James Bond movie, to honor the tenth anniversary of that movie. Because after all, guys, not only that um. Skyfall is going to turn 10 years. The franchise is going to turn 60 years old this year. So, yeah. So, alright guys. That's my review on Business Burning Machines. If you like this review, make sure you hit that like button. Like and share your friends. Until next time, goodbye.